Praxis Prepper. Everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video we're talking about the real reason why the United States is pulling its military out of Afghanistan. The United States military has been there for about two decades. They went in just after 9-11. I remember at the time, just because I'm this kind of guy, I asked, you know, is this the best way to approach this? Sure, it feels good to blow shit up. Sure, it feels good to, you know, take out your anger um, after something bad happens to you on some person or group of people, but does it really ever solve anything in the long term? It's always been my uh, perspective that almost all the time military action just kind of kicks the can down the road and it doesn't actually solve problems. Given that the Taliban is moving right back in and Afghanistan is going to be functionally exactly the same as it was before the invasion, is that something worth thinking about? I, I know we're going to talk about why the United States is pulling its troops out, but you know, think about this for just a moment. The United States has spent an enormous amount of money there, an enormous amount of American lives and Afghan lives have been lost in this conflict, and we're back to square one again. So, I, you know, I'm only throwing that out there for next time. I know it feels really good to, you know, take physical force and try to use that when you're pissed, justifiably so, if you're angry about something that you have every right to be angry about. I know it feels good. But just consider this next time. This is a very common outcome of this type of thing. You go through the whole thing and you come back to where you started from because if you don't solve the root problems, you know, the roots are always there and it'll just keep growing back up. So this video isn't about that, but for next time, consider that, you know, with all the incredible amount of money that we spend in Afghanistan, there were a lot of other options that you could have done, uh, you could have used that money for that maybe would have us in a better place right now financially at the very least. So, throwing that out there. Okay, but why is the United States pulling out now? Uh, I mean, it, it has been the situation uh, that it uh, has been uh, for a while, for a long time. You know, it's been like this kind of quagmire, I guess you might want to use that word, it's an old Vietnam word, it means a swamp, or not, tech, not literally exactly a swamp, but it's like, you know, it's a swamp-like environment that you get stuck in. It's been like that for a while. So why are we pulling out right now? Now, a lot of people out there are uh, pointing the finger at Joe Biden, and he himself says the buck st stops with him, uh, and saying, oh, well, you know, it, it was just a terrible decision on his part, uh, and look how poorly executed it was. And it, it's not being executed that great. I mean, there are people stranded everywhere. I mean, there are uh, Afghans who have just grown up their whole lives, uh, you know, post-Taliban, and they are scared shitless, I would be too, of what's coming in there right now because it's horrifying. It was horrifying beforehand, and now it's going back to being horrifying again. So much so that it seems like people are even willing to risk their lives grabbing onto the sides of airplanes to try to get out. People, It seems like people have been falling off of some air transports leaving there it is a horrible horrible situation really it seems poorly executed and a lot of people who are not fans of joe biden uh with whom the buck stops have been pointing fingers at him and saying look this is just it's just an example of why he's senile he's you know an awful leader um maybe but there's another way of looking at this too and i would suggest that we all do that i know it feels good if you you know especially if you dislike someone to say uh, you know, look at this thing, they're, they're making this horrible choice. But what if, what if what we are doing in Afghanistan is not a particularly ridiculous course of action? Maybe there are things that I and you are not uh, aware of, and maybe if we knew those things, what's happening over there would make a heck of a lot of sense. And what I'm getting at is maybe the troops aren't being pulled out of Afghanistan. Maybe the troops are being pulled back here. Maybe there is some reason, something that we, not, we don't know about. Maybe there is some reason why people who do know this thing think it would be a really good idea to get as many American personnel back here, back to the United States, for some reason. I don't have any inside information. I know it's a strange thing to hear on YouTube. <laughs> Everybody's got inside information or I've got a reliable source. I'm just, I'm just asking the question because uh, there, are only, there are only two possibilities of uh, what's going on with the United States pulling its troops out. One is that it is uh, just evidence of horrible ineptitude and that would be a good reason for us to prep and prepare if our government is really that incapable of 
uh, planning and predicting the outcome of their own actions uh, as it relates to you know Americans living over there, their uh, employees living over living over there, and certainly all of the people in Afghanistan, uh, the Afghani citizens who have been helping us all this time. Maybe you know the people in charge right now are just that inept that they had no ability to foresee any of this and or they had no ability to stop any of it. That's possible. And if that's possible, that's a good reason to prep if the people in charge are that inept. But like I said, maybe they're not inept. Maybe there is something they know that you and I don't know and the troops aren't being taken from Afghanistan. They're being pulled back here. And that's a reason to prep too. So I wanted to throw that idea out there. You know, it, it feels in the air like we could be on the cusp of so many problems, geopolitical, financial, environmental, meaning food uh, supply. You know, maybe the United States, I'm just going to throw this out there, is just one possibility. Again, this is just an idea. Maybe the people in charge realize that there are going to be a lot of crop failures this season. Maybe they realize that come towards the end of this year, food is going to be something that's a little bit difficult to come by. Maybe the prices are going to go up. Maybe they realize that that's going to create unrest. Maybe they want some people back here to try to control some of that. Or maybe something crazy. Maybe there's an asteroid coming in and it's just some left field kind of thing. Or maybe it's horrid ineptitude and people just had no ability to foresee the outcome of their actions. Whatever it is, it's a good reason to prep. That's it. Thanks for watching and good luck. These are difficult times. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.